And now I want to give you the summary of what I have been talking over the last minute. It is true that a tyrant dies and his rule is over. But the truth is, the tyrant dies but the violence continues. If you want to be the great man, if you want the, uh, something better if you want to be, believe in yourself. And don't be that one you hate a lot. Don't be that person you don't want to be. And here's the biggest thing. Don't even focus on Kashmir. That is not only, there's not uh, the one country or one place in the world that is uh, under a problem. You have to remember Burma and Palestine too. It takes a big heart to shape a little mind. Thanks. We will never be a true peace of mind with the great name of Almighty Allah, who is the soul of creator and sustainer of the universe. Respected judges, teachers, and all my audience fellows, Assalamu Alaikum. Today, the topic of my speech is well Soryan Krikar. That is, Tarant Chais is rules over. The Martai Chais is rules being. Respected judges, the rain of Sunday whispered to me the painful reality of the Kashmir. The cry of the brave mother, the body of martyr, the sorrow of the little sister, the, boy, the true truth of the others, the grip of the whole father. It is true to say that martyr creates a faith more than faith creates a martyr. Respected judges, martyr is someone who suffers persecutions and yet religious belief. They support law, justice, and the people. They refuse allegated officers demands. Respected judges, Murta is considered to be the one who re refused the concept of jihad and symbol of ex exceptional leadership of heroism to face the difficulties. I hear it. I see the correct some of the great leaders. The Murta cared not dishonored. Every lash is inflected is the tongue of fame. Every person is more illustrated, evident. People who made the history are martyr. Dear audience, he wanted to die here. He said he to be martyr for Islam. He close to say that he see, he go, he face, he fight the suicide bomber. Entire causes of the freedom. Dear audience, not everything was changed. Still similar are scenes. Still the mother longed for his beloved son. Still the tear of the window scare. Still the roaming girls kill the humanity. Still the Kashmir is bleeding. And last, and last, I would to say that, dear brave soldiers, we brought you honor, respect, fame to our, our beloved motherland. You demand nothing in return. You sacrifice your life, your family, your happiness for our sake. Even it weather to protect us. I could not thank you enough. I could not thank you enough because my words cannot carry off your emotions. Thank you, dear judges and my Muslim fellows. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Down to write this speech, 
I went to the realms of my imaginations and found myself walking the feeble pavements of a land despised by all and pitied by none. As I waddled through the streets, I observed and perceived obscene acts against humanity. As I stumbled forward, I saw a man, bruised and bloodied, eyes in the ceiling but looking relaxed. As I turned around, I found her mother, lips trembling, hands shaking, tears dropping from her eyes but looking relaxed. And I saw a man addressing to the masses that we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We are going to survive and we are going to live on. Because we will never ever surrender our cause. So for those who have forgotten their brothers, thrown under tents, ripped, tortured and defiled, remember your cause. For those who have forgotten your brothers, ripped, tortured, annihilated, remember the cause. For those who have forgotten the splendor, plunder, annihilation, depredation and vandalism, for God's sake, remember the cause. For God's sake, remember the cause. My Lord, sometimes one questions the course nature takes. The death, destruction, calamities, rots and ruins it brings. But man, as naive as he is, forget India. Both the countries have fought for wars over Kashmir. More than thousands of innocent Kashmiris have died. During this conflict, the Pakistan's government is fully supporting the Kashmir for this disastrous fight. Kashmir has crossed several times against tyranny, oppression and subjugation and there are umpteen historical documents of its medieval history where they have challenged numerous rulers for their ugly behavior right from 1585 at the onset of Mughal rule. First, three years of the 13th century from a landmark in the history of modern Kashmir. It has an individual existence and its people must be the final arbiters of their future. Final arbiters of their future. Final arbiters of their future. <laughs> Mr. President, violent insurgency in the state have ebbed and flowed since 1998, but the region witnessed a fresh wave of violence after the death of 22 years old militant leader Burhan Muzaffar Wani. He died in a battle with security forces, sparking massive protests across the valley. His social media videos are popular among young people, is largely created with reviving and legitimizing the image of militancy in the region. Thousands of people attended his funeral in his hometown. When he was martyred, he was declared as a terrorist by the Indian media. So now, Let's come to its solution. The solution for this issue is that the popular Kashmir insurgency demonstrates that the Kashmir no longer wish to remain with India or part of India. Pakistan suggests that either Kashmir wants to be with Pakistan or independent according to two nation theory. According to one theory, Kashmir should be the part of Pakistan because it has Muslim majority. As the Kashmir is a great brother in Pakistan, India, the people of Jammu Kashmir and the whole South Asia, it is very important to find out our resolution for this issue. One way to explore our resolution for this issue is to consider self-determination for those who live in occupied Kashmir. The quantitative analysis of the data shows that the Kashmir's independence is high among the people who live in occupied Kashmir by India, which means that the Kashmir wants its independence at any cost from the Indian authorities. Nowadays, every Pakistani is Captain Karnal Shir Khan and Lara John and every Kashmiri is Burhan Muzaffar Wani and Burhan Muzaffar Wani. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I don't have Kate's eyes, but I can see the true colors of universe. I don't have Dinky ears, but I can hear what makes sense. I don't have a dog nose, but I can smell and distinguish between carbon and oxygen. 
because my lord i am the filament of freedom i am the pistol of peace i am the calyx of consciousness i am the pollen of prosperity i am the root stem of our balochistan and i am the cause that makes the matta i am the cause that makes the matta but it must be a high notice mr president sir there is not the death that makes the matta it's the cause that makes the matta my lord and the cause of abdul satar edi who was the man of love and courage who always worked to help this poor nation meet me meet me my lord because i am the cause of aisha faru who was the first ever pakistani to travel in space meet me meet me my lord because i am the cause of etazaz hasan shaheed who was the man of courage and bravery who sacrificed his life in order to protect the lives of hundreds of students meet me meet me my lord because i am the cause of khawaja mohammad amin mukhtar who sacrificed his life and friendly just and just for kashmir cause meet me meet me my lord because i am the cause of shaheed burhan Funny, who sacrificed his life for the Indian occupied Kashmir's independence? If you want to listen more, Mr. President, sir, so now listen, listen, Mr. President, sir, listen carefully. Listen, if you can listen, listen the voice of this poor nation. Listen the screamings of this poor nation. I know, Mr. President, sir, that you are unable to listen the voice because, my lord, I see over here every single man, every single woman, and every single child is saying that. Yes, they all are the cause that made the matta. But again, it must be a high interest, Mr. President. Sir, it's not the death that makes the matta. It's the cause that makes the matta. Hello. Last words. If you watch your thoughts, they lead to your words. If you watch your words, they lead to your actions. If you watch your actions, they lead to your habits. If you watch your habits, they form your character. And you know, Mr. President, sir, that character is the source that determines the cause in a person. That leads to be marked as the cause that makes martyr, not the death. Thank you. A man who does but actually never does, he transmits himself from this world to some other world, which is much more captivating, much more alluring, and much more beautiful than this one. Being a martyr is not easy. It requires you to spell your blood. It requires you to set back all your selfish desires, and it requires you to set the dynamics of sacrifices. And for that. If you want to see the true picture of sacrifices, take a look of Kashmir, which once said to be the part of heaven. But now, it is portraying the clear picture of hell, where each day our mother and sister are being abducted by cowards, where each day India is trying to quell the struggle of Muslims, where each day a daughter waited for her father to come back, but he can't. You know why? Because. His charred body turned to a relish dinner for street dogs, and it is because of us, because we don't remain Muslims. We are not Muslims anymore. We don't belong to Islam. We forget the teaching of our holy prophet, peace be upon him. And after that, the situation is in front of all. India, after killing millions and millions of people, still is a democracy and. Still, it bears the credit for being the most diversified of country of the South Asia, and after sacrificing millions of people, still Kashmir is a terrorist. Yes, they call them the terrorist. If fighting for a noble cause is a terrorism, if fighting for a self-determination is a terrorism, if fighting for a religious liberty is a terrorism, not only Burhan Muzaffarwani, we all love to be the terrorist. And I want to send them a message that do. Do whatever you can do. There is no power in the world which can suppress the struggle of Muslims. Not today, but tomorrow. 
we will be there to grasp our Kashmir from you. Because the fate of Kashmir was decided when it emerged on the map of the world with Pakistan. One day you will see that Muslim countries will unite. Our boundaries will extend from Mirpur to Pathankot, and that will be the day victorious for humanity. Pakistan, Zindabad. Who is the most merciful and the most beneficent? Respect to jewelry and your respect to doers. I want to say with the very lucent edict that perspicacious thinkers, intellectuals, obviously it is the cause, not the death that makes the martyr. Beloved, here my ideology shouts and it says that fight for right is white, but fight for power is light. Distinguished thinkers, condemning, criticizing, secondarizing, these are not my propensities. I'm not going to victimize someone's religion, but sharing the truth, fact, and harsh reality. That no respect, no humanity, no mind the justice. Take the justice, snatch the justice, or search the justice, my lord. You cannot find the justice there. You cannot find the justice. In this circumstance, if still an intelligent human being loses a life, that is called martyr, my lord. If they are getting the title of martyr, everybody wants, but they are compelled because more than 10,000 people are martyred. More than 3,000 women are being apparently dispatched by the fragile, marred, and damaged animals, beloved. Damaged animals. Take start from 1947. But still, still the love is bubbling. Still, hope is at the peak. Still, the Kashmiri mother says Pakistan. Still, an orphan children say Pakistan. Still, an blemished widow says Pakistan. Take start from 1947 till 2019. I did not see a single individual raising voice for Kashmiris. I did not see a single person or leader crying behind Kashmiris. Kashmiris, my lord. An answer from this gentleman to the atrocious dispatchers of humanity. That oh, buck, we don't need luck. Luck, we don't agree. Suck the power of all yuck. Tuck, yuck, they are suck, my lord. They are suck. My lord, philosophers say, living life for others is really a life. For oneself, everybody lives. If I can't say it is illegitimate, it must be mutilated. It must be mutilated. But this is the stance that in parliamentary assembly, a foreign minister stood and started crying for the welfare of Kashmiris. But here are hanky, banky, irri, firri, and hocus pocus. Philosophers are still stuck in the circumstances, my lord. Still stuck that they don't fight for the life of Kashmiris. We must fight, diet for their right, my lord. We must fight and diet. You know, Nelson Mandela said, a real leader must be ready to sacrifice all for the welfare of nation. All for the welfare of nation. But still we don't feel shy. Why? Still we don't cry. Why? Still we bravely lie. Why? Still we don't cry. Why? 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 Wow. Wow. At last I want to wind up my speech with the historical sentence that Irri, Firri, Foxes, please come out from the boxes. Thank you so much. कॉन्टेक्स्ट डिक्लेमेशन कॉन्टेक्स्ट होना चाहिए और इससे आप अंदाज़ा लगा रहे हैं कि बहुत सारे जो पॉइंट्स हैं 
जो इवेंट्स हैं जो पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है वो आ रहे हैं और हमारी यूथ के लिए काफ़ी सूदमंद भी होगा इस तरह के इवेंट्स होना चाहिए और खसूस तौर पर जो हमारे खुद जो है मतलब बुरहान वानी जो शहीद जो है वो खुद यूथ की एज में जो है मतलब वो अपनी आज़ादी के लिए अपने कौम के कौम को सुरखूम करने के लिए उन्होंने जिस जमा मर्दी से अब जाम शहादत नोश किया है यकनी तौर पर उनको खराज अकीदत पेश करने के लिए यही एक बेहतरीन तरीका है जो आज जो इवेंट मनकद हुआ है पूरे मुल्क में इस तरह का इवेंट होना चाहिए और हम हमें हमें और हमारी यूथ को कम अज़ कम हम उनको परसपेक्ट करें कि आज जो यूथ वहाँ पर लड़ रहा है जो यूथ हमें हमें चाहिए कि हम अखलाकी तौर पर सियासी तौर पर उनकी पुष्ट बनाई भी करें और उनको जो है मतलब खराज तहसील भी पेश करें उनकी इस फाइट पर कि वो अपनी आज़ादी के लिए अपने बच्चों के मुस्तबिल के लिए अपने सरजमीन के दिफा के लिए वो एक ऐसे मतलब फ़ौज के साथ जो इंतहाई बरबरीत जो इंतहाई शफाकियत के साथ हमारी यूथ वहाँ के रहने वाले माओ बहनों बूढ़ों को जो है और जवानों को जिस जिस बेदर्दी से काट रहे हैं और कतलेम कर रहे हैं हमें उस उनकी शदीद अल्फाज में मजम्मत करनी चाहिए न सिर्फ यहाँ पर हमारे मुल्क में बल्कि सारी दुनिया में जहाँ जहाँ भी आज़ादी खा जहाँ जहाँ पर भी ह्यूमन राइट्स के लोग रहते हैं वो कम अज़ कम इंडिया की इस एक्ट को इस म बरबरीत की हमें हर सूरत में उसकी मजम्मत करनी चाहिए जो हम कर रहे हैं हर लेवल पर और इसी तरीके से भारत को आज के दिन के हवाले से क्या पैगाम देखिए उस हवाले से मैं मैं भारत को सिर्फ यही कहूँगा कि जितना भी आप म करोगे जितना भी आप आप वापस सितम डालोगे लेकिन वहाँ के यूथ अभी जो है मतलब वो वो बेदार हो चुके हैं और वहाँ के यूथ अभी अपनी फ्रीडम के लिए अपनी आज़ादी के लिए वो खुद जद्दोजहद करें और जिस कौम के यूथ जो है मतलब मोबिलाइज हो जिस कौम के यूथ हरकत में आ जाए उस कौम को कोई भी शिकस्त नहीं दे सकता और वो अपनी मंजिल मकसूद तक पहुँच कर ही रहेंगे इसलिए मैं भारत से यही कहूँगा कि जो वहाँ के जो मतलब ख्वाहिश है वहाँ के आवाम की जो भी ख्वाहिश है उस उस ख्वाहिश को जो है मतलब आप मन ऑन उस पर अमल दरामद करें अपनी हक दर्मी से बाज आ जाए इसी तरह जो है मतलब वरना ये हर सूरत में जब जब वो लोग वहाँ के हंड्रेड परसेंट आवाम आपको नहीं मान रहे वो आपसे छुटकारा हासिल करना चाहते हैं आपके जुल्म बरबरीत से निकलना चाहते हैं तो आपको चाहिए कि आप भी एक जमहूरी मुल्क होते हुए आप अपने आप को जो कहलवा रहे हैं तो आप उनकी जमहूरी हकूक उनको कम अज़ कम दिया जाए